So if we want to release this read-only column, we will use the same function. So I copy and paste this function. And from action, I go to and let's make this release read-only. And let's change it again a bit the, the background color. And this time I will use the same function set column read only. This time I will make it false instead of true. So it will just release my read only column and it will go back to the task form again. So I save this process and I activate it. And I will go to eFlow in order to check what I have done in eFlow Designer. Okay, I start a new process. Okay, so if I say read only, then the column of quantity will be read only. I cannot change. I can change other columns, but not the quantity. But if you want to release this, we have new button. We just click it and here it comes. No, we released by setting it as false.